Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Area Network. In my earlier video, you have seen how to enable Hyper-V role on a virtual Windows Server 2012 R2, which was hosted on VMware Workstation. Since Hyper-V is enabled successfully, so obviously I was trying to install a VM on that Hyper-V host. Unfortunately, again I got another annoying error when I tried to start the VM. Here is the snapshot of that uh, error which is showing on the screen. So it is clearly mentioned that the VM uh, failed to start. And in the detailed area, you can see it's written the uh, virtual machine management services failed to start and blah, blah, blah. Now let's come back to the main video. I am quickly creating a VM here and show you the error live. So the VM is created. Now let's connect to that VM and click on start. So this is the error which I am facing whenever I am trying to start that VM which is hosted on Hyper-V server and that Hyper-V server is hosted on a uh, VMware workstation. So you can see the detailed error which I have shown you in, the, in my previous slide. Now let's try to shoot the trouble. Let me close all the opening uh, applications. First of all, I need to shut down the virtual Windows Server 2012 R2 on which the Hyper-V VM is created. After that, let's go to the settings of that Server 2012 R2. Go to the options tab under the general settings. You can find the saving location of that machine. Let's copy it from here and then go to the run of the physical machine on which the VMware workstation is installed and let's, let's uh, paste it here. Click on OK. Now you are into the working folder of virtual Windows Server 2012 R2. Here you can find the main configuration file that always ends with dot vmx let me zoom the screen for you now you have to open this file with notepad Go to the end of that file and write a new line here. And the line is hypervisor.cpuid.v0 space equal to space false. You can see this here. I have marked the line for you. Finally, save and close that file. And then again start, start the virtual Windows Server 2012 R2 machine. So it's now booting. So it has been started. Let me log in. Now let's open the Hyper-V manager. Mm, 
now let's start that Hyper-V VM. Okay, before that I need to check some settings. Is there any changes has been done or not? So, uh, all are okay. So, we are ready to move on. Let me connect and start the virtual machine. Let's see whether any error message coming or not. So you can see this time I have successfully started it without encountering any more error. And finally I am uh, on the screen from where I uh, will install the OS as I typically install an OS into the other system. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe the channel for more technical videos. Thank you.